All right, I'm here today with my son's Traxxas Bandit. It's a DXL, completely stock, stock gearing, stock tires and everything. Only thing that I added was a wheelie bar because this thing wheelies like a maniac uh, when it's warmer out and it has good traction. At any rate, we're doing a battery test today. I have two Avonic batteries I'm gonna test, both 3S. There is a 2200 milliamp hour and a 5200 milliamp hour. As you guys that follow my channel know, the 22 milliamp hour battery in my Raider hit 56 miles an hour. And in my Ultima, it hit 57 miles an hour. Now this larger 5200 milliamp hour battery will not fit in either of my vintage cars. So the Traxxas Bandit is the workhorse today. All right, so here we go. This is the Ovonic. 3S 2200 milliamp hour battery speed test run. Getting the steering trim right. Apparently it was bumped. Alright, that should do it. For sure this is slower than my vintage car, but this Traxxas is totally stock. It's running on the stock gearing and everything. And I'm just rolling into the throttle because I'm not trying to uh, do anything crazy right now. So let's see what kind of speed we got here. All right, the top speed was 44.18 miles an hour. And we'll go ahead and see what the uh, larger battery does. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Ovonic 2200 milliamp hour battery out. We did four runs. So you can see it went 48 miles an hour. Now the larger 5200 milliamp hour Vonic in this car, it went 50.8 miles an hour. Again, that was on a different set of tires. So we'll see. Uh, not sure yet what the speed difference is really gonna look like. Now, I had to modify the car to fit this larger battery, and I will put a link in the description of the video on how you do this. But uh, it's taller than a normal, you know, 2S 5200 milliamp hour battery, but it fits nicely now that uh, I did the modification. Okay, go ahead and I'll clear out the speed. And this is the run on the Ovonic 3S 5200 milliamp hour battery. All right, here we go. Ovonic 3S 5200 milliamp hour battery. 48 miles an hour was the speed for the 2200 milliamp hour battery. And we'll see what we get now. Right there, it says cars coming to 
everywhere. I really hate running the cars out here on a weekday because there's too much traffic, but I think we made it work. All right. Lovely. I uh, didn't put it back onto the the GPS, so it didn't record it. Well, we'll just run it again, and uh, if it's 48 miles an hour or faster, we know it's definitely faster than the 2200 milliamp hour battery. Okay, here we go. Ovonic 3S 5200 speed run with several passes on it already. One more coming back. Crazy. This car has no traction today with it being cold out and a different set of tires on it. All right, Avonic 3S 5200 battery with some runs on it hit 52.3 miles an hour. So right there that tells me with a better battery, a bigger battery in my Raider, there may still be hope for 60 miles an hour. Sorry I messed this video up, but it still proves the point that even though we have the same brand battery, we have um, the same cells and everything, and just a larger capacity, that the uh, larger capacity battery is faster. So this should carry over with my Raider. Well, I think I learned a few lessons from today's video, and uh, it's great news as far as my attempts to get my Kyosho Raider up to 60 miles an hour. And uh, the Traxxas Bandit was about four miles an hour faster on the larger capacity 3S battery. So the voltage in theory was the same, but I guess the smaller battery, uh, the voltage is dropping more when it's under load, slowing it down a considerable amount. And I may not have mentioned earlier why these AA batteries were in the car. I added these AA batteries because the weight of the 5200 milliamp hour battery is equal to this plus about another 200 grams. And these eight batteries weigh about 200 grams, making the weight difference between the two setups negligible for the testing today. Again, this battery, this uh, 5200 milliamp hour battery may have gone even 53 or four in a stock bandit. So it's definitely pretty quick. And uh, I'm gonna team up with Ovonic here. They make some uh, you know, great budget batteries and hopefully get a 4,500 milliamp hour battery that should fit in my Raider. So we'll be dealing with um, you know about twice the capacity of the one here. And that may just get us up to 60 miles an hour, which would be great. I'd love to have the uh, first Raider that I'm aware of to uh, hit 60 miles an hour. That'd be pretty cool. And uh, it may still be within shot, within reach. So that's all I have today. I'll see you guys later.